Hey guys, Chris back with another watch review, this time a comparison between the Seiko SBDC061 and the Zelos Great White 1000 meter dive watch. Uh, the Seiko is better known as the Marine Master or Baby Marine Master 200 because it's 200 meters. Uh, both watches are very similar and uh, I'll be going through all of those specs in just a moment, I'll do a quick wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the Bulova Lunar Pilot. It's a quartz watch, one of the only quartz watches I have. Um, really, gear, uh, really great operation on here. Ba uh, the box sapphire crystal, really cool looking. Large watch, 45 millimeters, I believe, uh, on a Velcro strap that comes with it. Anyway, moving on. So both watches here, 44 millimeters, both automatic. Um, the Zelos has an SW200 Swiss Salita, Swiss made Salita movement. Obviously the Seiko has an in-house 6R15, uh, both hack hand wine. Uh, the Zelos is lacking a date, that's on purpose. And um, both are 44 millimeters like I mentioned uh, with stainless steel uh, 316L steel. Uh, both have a crown at four, uh, four o'clock. Um, the Zelos has a loomed crown and signed. The Seiko does not. The Zelos has a ceramic bezel, which is also loomed. The Seiko has an aluminum bezel, which is lacquered. So if scratching, if you're worried about that, then the Seiko will scratch probably. Uh, I believe the Zelos will too. Uh, although it's harder than the, the aluminum, obviously. Uh, both have um, some depth rating, obviously 1,000 on the Zelos, 200 on the Seiko. Uh, will you ever use that depth at all for either of them? I would imagine you will not. Uh, thickness, obviously the Zelos far thicker than the Seiko. Uh, also, um, probably because of that depth rating, uh, the Zelos case is mostly um, brushed. There's some polished edging. Um, pretty nice finish on that bezel. Uh, 120 click on both, and uh, you can see here, this is mostly polished with some brushing on the top sides there. Um, the Seiko wears smaller, not only because of the obvious uh, thickness difference, but also the way the case shape uh, allows it to wear a little bit smaller than it actually feels or actually is, the 44 millimeters. Uh, the largest difference between these watches, uh, other than the Seiko being all in-house, they both have, say, sapphire crystals. They both have solid stainless steel case backs. Uh, I would say is the bracelets. The bracelet on the Seiko even though it is not my favorite, is, I would say, far better than the Zelos. The Zelos bracelet feels kind of cheap. Uh, even though it is a milled clasp, it's extremely sharp. Um, I even asked uh, Elchon about this, who is the owner of Zelos, and um, he said that it, because it's CNC'd, uh, it's going to be uh, sharper. I don't entirely agree with that because we have a milled clasp here. Some of it is pressed. This is probably pressed. Uh, the diver's extension is pressed on the Seiko. Uh, the Zelos has a ratcheted diver's extension. But like I said, overall, the feel of, of even the um, uh, this part of the, the, the clasp, it just doesn't feel as well made as the Seiko. And that is just a fact. I can't really say it any other way. There's there's a lot of play in between and that adds into, I don't know, the, this this part here doesn't fit as well as the Seiko. There's absolutely no play. Um, yeah, I just don't see, I don't see how the Zelos people, I've seen reviews and people are praising this bracelet and I just don't like it. It's sharp all the way around. The finishing isn't that great. It's brushed all the way around, but they polished on the edges. And the polishing is uneven and not done well. I mean, it's really just that simple. Uh, unfortunately, 
Um, if you're buying it because this has a bracelet, uh, then you're not getting a very good bracelet. The other problem here with the Zelos, I would say, is price. You get a lot for your money with micro brands, but the problem with this watch is that it's currently on the website for $649, where, yes, the Seiko retails for $1,050, but I paid $650 for this watch on Amazon with overnight shipping. I paid $4.99 for this on the pre-sale pricing, actually, um, through Zelos, but currently, if you want to buy one on the website, it's at $6.49. Um, so, when compared at the exact same price, I, I would go 100% with the Seiko. Uh, and even at that $4.99 price for the Zelos, you're going to have to do away with this bracelet if you want it to feel as um, well made as this as the Seiko. Now the Seiko also has history. There's a lot of history uh, of watchmaking uh, in the brand name. Um, it's 100% made in Japan. This is made in Singapore, but I'm sure there's a lot of sourced parts from China. Um, and there's probably some parts that are made from China in, in the Seiko, but um, <clears throat> overall, the feel, fit, finish, and quality, brand history, they have a lot of history of making diver watches. So you, you have, a, have a real heritage, a pedigree behind the Seiko. Zelos is a well a well-made brand, I would say, at that price point, and even with that bracelet, but at $4.99. But there's really no history. There's no real um, pedigree to the brand. So it, there's no notoriety. If you're wearing a Seiko, uh, you know you're wearing a good watch. You're wearing a quality watch. Uh, yeah. Um, beyond that, uh, the bracelet. If, if this was on a strap and this was on a, uh, you know, an equal strap, uh, the Zelos is a great watch. There's there's a couple of advantages to it. Um, specifically that dial, which is fantastic. You have applied indices, just like the Seiko. You have heaps of loom in the crown, in the bezel, and especially on the dial. Um, and uh, you get cool choices like this. I have a teal dial on this with a gray, with the gray with a teal um, minute track. It's really, really, really good looking. Um, but the feel, the fit, the finish of this Seiko, even with the inferior bezel and um, unsigned crown, I don't know why they wouldn't sign that, um, but the, and push pins instead of screwed links like the Zelos has, I would go with the Seiko. However, obviously I have both. So there are, there I, there's an argument to buy the Zelos as well or uh, over the Seiko, and that is that you're getting a thousand meter diver watch. So if you're really a diver, I am not. I'm a desk diver. I, I just love dive watches. So, um, you know, 200 meters is more than I'll ever do. Um, but if you're a diver and you want a watch that, um, that you could really go do some serious diving, which although there is no helium escape, so you cannot do any saturation diving, um, the Zelos is a great option, and it's, it's a great watch. Uh, I have heard people compare it to Seiko, and I don't think that's a fair comparison because Seikos have just an incredible machine behind them. Seiko watches, there There are an incredible amount of, uh, of research and development that go into these watches, and... and they have the ability to use and create bracelets that are incredible. Um, and this doesn't have the best bracelet that a Seiko could have. This is just a run of the mill. This is a middle, uh, middle of the road Seiko diver. Uh, obviously, they go up into the Grand Seikos. You're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars for a dive watch. And, you know, with good reason. Um, I will also do a comparison of these two watches. Versus my Planet Ocean, because I have a Planet Ocean on a bracelet. It's a little bit bigger than this, 45.5 millimeters. Uh, bigger than these two. 
However, um, I think it's a, a good comparison, and 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 we'll we'll take a look at those together. Um, anyway, uh, overall, I do recommend the Zelos, uh, but if you're buying one watch, I would probably go with the Seiko, um, unless you want to be different and and you don't mind wearing yours on a strap, or you don't mind the the sharpness of the of the bracelet. I mean, there I guess there's ways to you know clean that up, but I don't know if I would be the one to attempt that. Anyway, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, please hit that bell icon uh, so that you get notifications when I release new videos. Again, I'm Chris, and this was a comparison of the Zelos Great White 1000 meter dive watch versus the SBDC061 Seiko Baby Marine Master 200 meter dive watch. Thanks again.